Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with another C Sharp tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with how to send a ping using C Sharp. So what I mean is, we're going to ping an address using an ICMP protocol, and then we're going to wait for a response from that address. If we get a response, we can then measure how long that took to get our latency, if we don't get a response, we can specify that we didn't get a response. That's what I mean by pinging an address. So let's get right into it. In our main method, we have console.writeLine, ping address, www.google.com, and then a thousand. So ping address will be the function we make in a moment. www.google.com is going to be the address we want to ping. You can just put an IP address in here as well. But and then we're going to do a thousand. So the second parameter is going to be the timeout. And it's gonna and this specifies the maximum number of milliseconds after sending our message to wait for a reply. And if the time taken is longer than this, so once it's been one second, let's say in this example, and we haven't received a reply, we're going to assume we can't reach the address. And then we do const.readline to stop the program from closing. So let's go and look at the function and make it. So we've got public static long. We are doing a long just in case you want to deal with gigantic numbers. You don't need to have long because it's just a 64-bit integer. You can put int, but be careful in case you're dealing with really big numbers. And then we're going to call the function ping address. Obviously, first parameter is the address. The second one is the timeout as an int. So let's put the code in here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a try catch statement, which is try try some code. If something goes wrong, you execute for catch and carry on. If nothing goes wrong, you do everything in for try, then carry on like normal. Inside for catch, we are going to do console.writeLine E, which is our exception, just so we can print out what went wrong. After the catch, we are going to do return minus one. So basically, latency can't be a negative number. Unless, I don't know, you're somehow time traveling, I guess. But I'm going to assume you're not doing that. So if we do a return minus one, we can tell our code, hey, if you return a minus one, that means you didn't reach the server. This can literally be any negative number, though. It could be negative 69, it could be negative 420, it could be negative 21. It can be any negative funny number if you want, but I'm doing negative minus one because I'm going to be sensible. Inside for try code, we're going to do four lines of code. We are going to do console.writeLine pinging plus address. This is just to tell the user we're pinging a specified address. Then we're going to create a ping object. So we can do ping ping class equals new ping. And this ping object, funny enough, is going to be what we use to send a ping. And then we do ping reply. And this is a class to store the response. And so we can do ping reply, I'll call it ping reply to be original, equals ping class dot send address and timeout. So basically, we've cr we're creating a object to store the result of our ping attempt, and we're assigning it to whatever our ping attempt has as its result. And we can do our ping object dot send Address is our first parameter, where do we want to ping, and timeout is obviously how long we want to try before we give up. And then we can do return ping reply, which is our ping reply object, dot round trip time to get the latency. And that's basically it for this code. So we're going to save our code and hit play. And we did pinging www.google.com and we got a 10. That's pretty standard stuff. I also just want to say, make sure you import using system and using system.net.network information. We'll be needing those for this code. Uh, let's try youtube.com. And it's a nine, which is pretty good. Now let's try an address that doesn't exist. Well, we get a very detailed error, but then at the end we get a minus one, which is all we care about. The error message you don't need to print out, it's just there if you're curious. Let's go back to www.youtube.com, but put in a hundred. And it pinged. 
And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more C-Sharp tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience.